Okay, so you know it's about being new with one, with SBC One. So basically I'm bringing a new show and it's called Tastemaker Series. And it's just basically talking about urban culture, the street vibe, like what lifestyle fashion is about, um, a bit of music, a bit of graffiti and some extreme sports. And it's not just around South Africa, like it's also going to be around the world. So there's times where we go to Berlin and Paris. Yeah, so we're showcasing like just fresh, fresh from Swanko and just like dripping style the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know if I was headhunted for it, but I'm pretty much the perfect fit for bringing like futuristic fashion. So I think they must have seen me about that vibe. But also I know the producer of the show, so I think she probably had a few people in mind and then I came forward and just one of the elements to it. But I have a co-host and he's also like hella fresh. His name is Mike Tele. I don't know if you know him from like the social market and stuff, but he's also like intense creative super colorful doesn't care about what anyone thinks so we were vibing beautifully on the show it was cool i think highlights of the show is finally getting to put on like things that i've always supported as in south african fashion brands like tubob young and lazy they never had a spotlight to really showcase what they've been doing you know because it's always on a commercial tip the whole time or like shopping at the mall i mean i never shop at the mall you know it's not that vibe no Okay, freak, I went to the mall today. But other than that, normally I don't shop in the mall and it's just about bringing something different. And I like the fact that we have a show where we can bring something different and that's definitely the highlight of the show. Okay, well, how it all started, I'd say is in 2012, you know that whole like being woke, like literally I woke up and I was like, whoa, I'm in a dark space. I don't like where I'm at right now. I was living in the UK. It's gray all the time. I needed sun in my life. And I was like, uh, -uh. 2012, moved back to South Africa. And I just decided to like embrace color and embrace my culture and embrace who I am. So as soon as I started like listening to the messages of my authentic identity shall we say then everything just started flowing like a river to an ocean and it came naturally so when i wake up in the morning like these outfits just come naturally you know i play some good music and i open my cupboard and like just flows so it's not something that i'm trying super hard to put on it's just something that just comes naturally and how i feel comfortable in my daily routine Yo, thank you for asking me about the DJing because I don't want anyone to think I have stopped DJing, no. Live mix DJing, that's my number one love to the core. And if you want to book me for festivals, clubs and everything, I'm there. But I have, you know, experience in other things. And as a creative, it's always good to share your knowledge and other aspects if you have. So like within fashion, I'm not a fashion designer, but I can still showcase that. I'm, you know, I'm not a first class presenter but I can still hold it down and have a look that can still be portrayed on TV but at the end of the day music is definitely my first love so like don't anyone think that I'm not about music anymore like that's where everything starts and finishes. Oi Wagwan this is DJ Duop and you're watching Skipani TV. Brah!